Tonight marks one month since a dispute between two hospital workers turned deadly at VCU Medical Center. The employee suspected of shooting and killing his co-worker was just charged with first degree murder. The deadly shooting now prompting safety concerns about the need for added security at the hospital. 8 News reporter Roland Wilson joins us live in the Digital Center tonight about these growing concerns. And Roland, what can you tell us about this? Yeah, Heather, this tragic shooting sparked questions of concern from residents and patients alike. Some asking, did the hospital have proper protocols in place and is there any place that's really safe anymore? Well, tonight we're learning some questions may still go unanswered. Tonight, safety is still top of mind after an argument inside a VCU medical quickly turned into a deadly shooting. Police say on May 10th, 24-year-old Christopher Boiseau shot and killed 25-year-old Taekwon White in a stairwell. Boiseau was originally charged with maliciously shooting within a building. He now faces a first-degree murder charge and use of a firearm in commission of a felony. One month later, questions still remain as to what safety changes could be coming to the facility. VCU officials tell 8 News they've completed what's called an after action review. This is where staff can determine what went well and what changes need to be made. Their findings have not been released. Security consultant Mike Jones weighs in. You can have a very good policy, which VCU Medical Center has, but that policy is only as good as the people who are willing to obey it. With hundreds of entryways, Jones recommends adding alarms and screening throughout the building and changing detection devices on doors to increase awareness. In addition to physical changes, Jones says staff can beef up safety behind the scenes through crisis intervention training. The other thing is supervisors need to learn how to detect the early warning signs of workplace violence. Now, I've requested an interview with VCU officials to discuss what changes visitors and patients and their families could see in the future. That request was denied. If you know any more information about this incident, you are asked to give police a call. Live in the Digital Center tonight, Roland Wilson, 8 News.